You ever feel like you're running on a hamster wheel? Constantly stressed, tired, and just off? What if I told you that stress is doing more than just making you feel frazzled? It's actively preventing your body from cleaning house. Let's talk about autophagy. It sounds complicated, but it's simple. Auto means self and phagy means to eat. So it's your body's way of self-eating. Now that sounds a little scary, but it's actually a vital process. Your cells create waste and some of them get damaged. Autophagy is the cleanup crew that comes in, breaks down this junk and recycles it for energy or to build new healthy cells. It's crucial for slowing down aging, preventing disease, and keeping your brain sharp. But here's the villain of our story, cortisol, the stress hormone. When you're chronically stressed, stuck in traffic, worrying about bills, dealing with a demanding boss, your body is flooded with cortisol. And high cortisol levels essentially scream emergency to your system. When your body is in a constant state of emergency, it puts long-term maintenance projects like autophagy on hold. Why clean the house when you think it's on fire, right? So chronic stress literally kills autophagy. The cellular junk piles up, inflammation increases, and your risk for all sorts of health problems goes way up. So how do we fight back? We need to lower our cortisol. And the good news is you don't need some fancy expensive solution. Here are three simple science-backed ways to get your cortisol levels in check and get that cellular cleanup crew back on the job. First, the physiological sigh. This is a game changer and you can do it right now. It was popularized by neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. Here's how it works. Take a deep breath in through your nose and then without fully exhaling, take another short, sharp inhale to completely fill your lungs. Then let it all out with a long, slow exhale through your mouth. Let's try it. Inhale, inhale again, and a long exhale. That one double inhale and long exhale is the fastest known way to bring down your autonomic arousal. It offloads a ton of carbon dioxide, which signals to your brain that it's time to calm down. Do this two or three times whenever you feel stress creeping in. Second, get 20 minutes of nature. I'm not talking about climbing a mountain. Just find a park, a backyard, or even a tree-lined street. A study in the journal Frontiers in Psychology found that just 20 to 30 minutes of sitting or walking in a place that makes you feel in contact with nature can significantly drop your cortisol levels. No phone, no distractions, just be present. Listen to the birds, feel the breeze. This nature pill is one of the most effective and cheapest stress reducers out there. And third, laughter. Real, genuine, belly-shaking laughter. Laughter increases your intake of oxygen-rich air, stimulates your heart and lungs, and then cools down your stress response, leaving you with a good, relaxed feeling. It's been shown to slash cortisol levels, so call that friend who always makes you crack up. Watch a clip from your favorite comedian.